Do you have a unique fashion style but don't know where to start with your home? I'm Tom Felicia, and I believe in creating rooms that have character. With the help of a fashion expert, I'll use your favorite outfit to inspire an interior design plan that shows off your individual style. Today, this entrepreneur may be in the baking business, but her style is anything but cookie cutter. One big problem is my sister and I live together and we have completely different styles. We can't agree on how to decorate our living room. Can we give these sisters a space they'll both be proud to call home sweet home? Well, you gotta <laughs> yes. you meet in the middle or you're gonna have, she can get a condo next door. <laughs> if Tom can design a room that reflects my vintage style and my sister's trendy style, <laughs> it would be a miracle. A plan can't just look good on paper. It needs to represent the person who lives there. So it's essential I get to know my client before I start any interior design. 25-year-old Jennifer Salvaggi turned her sweet tooth into something more substantial. My sister and I started a cookie company called Rolling and Dough Cookies, and we do hand-decorated cookies, anything you want on them. Family is top priority for these sisters, but Jennifer actually carries this connection over to her closet. My family is so important to me, and that's why my grandmother's clothes is like so dear to me, because it represents my family. Jennifer would be most comfortable in a room that's as vintage as her wardrobe. My style is definitely vintage Vogue. I love pulling back from different eras, like the 60s, like Jackie O, Sophia Loren, a little bit of Audrey Hepburn. But one thing is standing in the way of Jennifer's retro redo. My sister and I live together and we have completely different styles. I like things that are quality. I like going to the vintage stores. Vintage is old, other people's junk. It's not trendy, that's for sure. Now it's up to us to give these sisters a room that's both classic and cutting edge. Tom, help me get my place to look like me. Erica and I approached these design challenges as a joint effort. With her background in fashion and my design skills, we create rooms that are both functional and stylish. Not Hello! Done. Jennifer! So hey. 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 How are you? Hey. Hey. It's good to see you. <laughs> Hi, how this, are you? <laughs> nice light. This is great. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh my you. god. Yes. You and your sister live here together. Mm -hmm. Do you guys dress the same? No. No? Opposites completely. Really? Like we're night and day on everything. Sure. I like the whole vintage kind of a feel and she right. likes the whole like trendy walked off of like, you know, right off of the hangar. So you gotta yes. you meet in the middle or you're gonna have, she can get a condo next door. Yeah. <laughs> I like that idea. Hey, that kind of works for me. Like, Who are these gals on the wall oh, over these here? these lovely ladies. That's fun, I love that. Well, who's this? This one has my Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I take pictures to my wall because I oh, can't. Oh, that's nice. So you can just. Blue tape. Oh, there we there you go. Decorate in a second. Wow. <laughs> See, I miss this my family cute. so much because I grew up in such a big house. You did. We're like 14 of us. Family? Yeah, so <gasps> dinner 14 time. 14 people in, one, in your what? house? In our house, all living together. That's amazing. And so, so I this knew. Is that me and Michelle both miss them, and we could agree on hanging So no wonder you and your sister are so close. Here, let me just hang this over here. <laughs> there we go. What's your goal? What are we working towards? Talk to me. Okay, my father is coming to town. He's yeah. never seen this place. Ever. Ever. He helped us buy this six years ago, and he's coming out in two weeks. And wow. it's kind of like, uh-oh. We've got to show. Him. Yes, we want to show mm -hmm. that we've done something. This represents us. Okay, well, I think what we're going to need, I guess now it's inspiration time. Yes. It is. We're gonna need okay. the inspiration outfit. Yeah, yes. we're gonna need the inspiration outfit. Well, let me go change. I'll be Because I think this room needs a little inspiration. <laughs> Definitely. Right? Let's talk real quick about the design dilemmas. Well, first of all, the sofa looks like, it's like a seven foot sofa, mm -hmm. and it looks like it's getting swallowed up by this by wall. wall. Mm -hmm. And you could take a bus from this chair to the sofa. Yeah. You're like, hey, what are you doing One over stop. there? And then there's this weird shelf, which, well, actually, wait a minute. That's not even just a shelf. There's a. That's, the mantle. <laughs> wow. Why would you put a fireplace? This is the most bizarre location for a fireplace I've ever seen. They could choose definitely where they put this futon. You know what we really need? <laughs> we need to put a futon that, right oh, in front of it. that disrupts getting in and out of the kitchen <laughs> and hides our fireplace. And then there's this carpet. Look at this. 
What happened? Mm. That's really gross. It almost is like a hallway in the middle, which is the biggest design dilemma of the room, is you have to be able to get through the living room to get to the front door, to get to the terrace, to get to the basement and the bathroom, and to get to the kitchen. So this living room is not only a living room, it's also a hallway. So those are really our dilemmas. Right. You look so Oh my god! Great. You are so cute. Oh my god. Let's take a look at I you. Love this. All right, Jennifer, tell us about this look from head to toe. Okay, first off, my grandmother made this dress. I've so seen my beautiful. grandmother wear this dress before. My sister even loves me wearing this dress. That's why we can agree on this dress. <laughs> yeah. That's the one thing because she remembers the times, the good times with my grandmother as well. Right, right. Handmade. Your so grandmother made well. this yes. herself. This is, she made it. Mm -hmm. And can you see? She's really good at all the little details of everything. Oh my god. And we got a brooch from her as well. Oh, and see? it's pearls and a little turquoise that's in it. Great. Oh, that's beautiful. The inside lining was a little bit uh, tattered. I don't know if she had one too many martinis one night right. or what. So I added my own lining in here. Let's see. Oh. Now, how cool is this? I mean, I'm ready it. to wear this out like Let's flipping. Let's see, oh, put it over gosh. like that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Earrings and all the jewels from Grandma. These are so beautiful. These are, are rocking. I, I love, love these. These are. They're clip on. They're, they're, clip like, on. they're like old lady chic. And I love the jeans. Mm -hmm. That's definitely the capri jean. And then the and shoes. The shoes. I love the shoes. I love the white patent leather. It oh, just pops. Yeah. time. It's definitely early 60s. It yeah. works. Yeah. Good. Love it. It's going to be cool. I cannot wait. I love it. OK, well, you got to get out of this. this. We need to take this with us. Yes, we do. I oh, love I it. I need to wear this. I need to wear it. She's going to wear it back to our studio. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wow, that's cute. That's a great look. Oh, hello. Hey, here you go, guys. All righty. Bye, Jennifer. Bye. Thank okay. you. Make it some Thank cookies. Thank you. Oh, definitely. Bye. Bye. We've only got 48 hours to get this generation renovation going. So we're taking Jennifer's favorite outfit back to my studio to get started. Okay, so walk me through this top to bottom and tell me what you think. So what I really love about Jennifer's style is that she's taking all of these vintage pieces and modernizing them. Right. Here, let's look at the ring. Oh my okay. God. I have to say, I love that. Isn't this the best ring? Yeah. Emerald cut diamonds are the most classic. Right. And they transcend time, just like Jennifer's style. So let's talk about this little number. Want me to model it for you? Yes, please. You know, for an afternoon cocktail party it, on it, Cape it Cod. It works, yeah. You know, it's a on Cape chilly. Cod, yeah. It's a little chilly. <laughs> oh, look, it's my Lily Pulitzer <laughs> mink. Look at you, Lily Pulitzer. I didn't know you need a Lily Pulitzer. Oh, my God, I used to date that. her. <laughs> She was very disappointed to find out that we both had a crush on the same guy. It was weird. <laughs> so what I love about the fur collar is that it represents movie glamour. Yeah, you yeah, know, she's yeah. like a movie starlet. She's glamorous. Yeah. And she really is. She's a glamorous yeah. girl, very elegant and super sophisticated. Yeah. And to me, that's what this shawl says. Cool. And then my favorite that, piece, the dress. the dress. Yay. I love, love, yeah, love I this dress. Yeah, I think it's super cute. Mm -hmm. I love it. First of all, I love the color. Yeah, I do the too. Color, love the color. She's not shy. She's got the chartreuse going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, she really knows who she is. Right. She knows that this is a great piece. And even though it's vintage, she's going to take it and make it her own right, in this right, year. And right. that's what I love and about it. Feel, it. I have to say, it all feels very modern. The hard thing is going to be trying to figure out how I'm going to take this vintage look and this vintage feel and translate it into her interior, which is already difficult. Mm -hmm. But then I also have to make it respond to her sister, which is like another layer that's going to be difficult. Well, how's that going to work? <laughs> let's get the plan on the board. Okay. Let's start to look at what, what I've been working on. Okay. And let's maybe get her photographs up there. Now. OK, yeah. Let's do that. So the biggest problem with this room is that everywhere you go in the house, you have to go through the living room to get there. This is a thoroughfare. There has to have good flow so people can get through it. So the thing is, I have to come up with a way for this space to really work. That's the first thing. I want to come up with an idea to maybe have a really great table, a fun rug here, Ooh. and a pair of chairs on this side of the room and that, that connect the spaces. That's the first thing. Then the other obstacle we have is here's our fireplace right here. That's behind the wooden Kind of an unusual place for a fireplace. <laughs> you know, having a fireplace in your living room is such a proper thing to have in your living room. And if you have one, I think you should really play it up. I think there's something I can do that will make that a focal point. The carpet was a bad idea in white. Didn't look white. Yeah, well, did, exactly. <laughs> what used to be white. Right. Now it's just kind of like a leopard print. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> I'd love to do something fun with the floor. Mm -hmm. And I think the floor, I'm loving the blue that's in this brooch. Right. I love the idea of the square tile, mm -hmm. but I think what we could do is take color 
two colors that we like, or maybe two of the same colors in different textures, and create this checkerboard pattern that's in the dress, the and do it in the floor. Okay. Something like that could be really fun. This is just really Jennifer. I just don't know if it feels a lot like Jennifer's sister. You know what, it is Jennifer, and I'm hoping that what I can do is maybe sell her sister on the idea that they're new and they're not vintage, Keep and maybe some that- some tags on, price Keep tags, tags on. on it. <laughs> I've got some great ideas, but they may be a little too wild for Jennifer. So we're heading back to gauge her reaction. No! <laughs> Jennifer! We know you're in there. In. Uh, are you making cookies? <gasps> Come on oh, in. She looks so great while she makes cookies. Just gonna be no. 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 Hello. Oh, Look, hello. We were in the neighborhood <laughs> and we were dying for some cookies. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, anyways, no, but the reason we're in the neighbor is I'm really sort of fleshing out the plans as uh -huh. we speak. So I That's wanted right. to show you some things that we have some mm -hmm. ideas about. I have some questions for okay. you. I can't wait to see you. Um, and what else? Oh, look at this. How much fun is that? Okay, lots of color, but what is this? That's carpeting. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That one gives me a headache a little it bit. It does? <laughs> I just don't want it to feel like I'm walking into a casino. That's my only thing. Tell me once again what the, this is a, a love sack. A love sack. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. This would be more for like a like a like a maybe more casual space. My sister's Michelle. She loves yeah. it. I don't think she'll let me get rid of it. No. Really? No. You want to ask her? Yes. Michelle. Hi. And I'm this Tom. is Erica. Nice Hi. to see you. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. This is so cute. Thanks. So, do you have room in your room for it? <laughs> well, I can make some room, but I love this thing out here. It doesn't go with our carpet samples. Those are the carpet samples? You don't what think so? Well, one of them matches your coat. Do you like any of them? No. No? No way. Yeah. Yeah. Jenny, this wasn't what I expected. My sister's reaction to their ideas was terrible. She didn't like anything they were showing her. And I'm really worried now that she's not gonna like anything they put together. Coming up, a splash of new color could make Jennifer turn green. The wall's green. Like her dress. I know, but do you think she's gonna be okay with that? And later, will we strike out with both sisters? She hates it. It's over. Jennifer Salvaggi and her sister Michelle have conflicting styles and a room that suits neither of them. So we asked them to move out for 48 hours while we make their space vintage enough for Jennifer and modern enough for her sister Michelle. But that's gonna take a lot of shopping. Oh my God, look, the colors are exactly right here already. Totally her dress. <gasps> look at this. Wow. Right, isn't that perfect? Yes, yes, yes. I love me likey, mm -hmm. me likey. Wait here, close your eyes. <laughs> Is that gonna hurt? Wait here, close your eyes real quick. Okay. No, okay. No, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Look at these. Yeah. Oh I my like God. the orange, like that's in the lining right here. Yeah. That's very pretty. It might be a little bit too literal, mm -hmm. but I'm definitely loving it. Yes. Right? Mm hmm. So these pillows are pretty good so far. What else do you see? We have to hurry up and get done. While we're shopping, my work crew is giving Jennifer's room a vibrant coat of color. We're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna start actually with the bigger pieces because that's how you really start with a room. We have to find a sofa that's big enough for that room and that really sort of takes the space. Watch this, the magic of sectional sofas. Move this down here like that. Isn't that great now for the, that big long living room that they have? Well, if she wants to seat like 10 people, yeah, it's fabulous. No, well, they really want a big sofa. This is the piece that's gonna anchor the room. It's gonna make sense of that really long wall. And you always start with the piece that anchors the room. Love the lamp. Look how fabulous this is. What do you think? Those are the final pillows and stuff? We're gonna have our green lamps here. A Little bit of orange, a little bit of lace, a little bit of gold, a little bit of denim. I, I just don't love it. It's not as vibrant as the tunic is. It's really like stone, yeah, but Beige, we still, but no, I know, but we still orange. have the wall. I really didn't like the couch that Tom picked out because it was just really like, I didn't get it. It was 
Yeah, so then I really love it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Love me some Crate and Barrel. Now that we've got most of our pieces, my work crew is putting the final touches on the foundation of my plan, trading the white carpet for something with a little more pizzazz. Oh my God. It's game day. Our challenge is to make Jennifer's space reflect both her vintage style and her sister's modern flair. We've got a lot of work to do and the clock is ticking. Oh. Tom, this looks amazing. Don't you love the sofa? What about the color? The green! I love Yay! It. I can't believe you made the walls green. Like her dress. But do you think she's gonna be okay with that? I think it's cool. I mean, I, I love it. And what the about the fireplace? Paper? Yeah. That's some now when you walk paper. in, you actually know that this is a fireplace. Is it metallic or something? Like, what is it? It's supposed to be bronze, but it's wallpaper. Isn't it cool? Oh, it looks so cool, yeah. I love it. Okay, and oh. why is the blue tape up here? Do you wanna take this down? No, 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 don't take it down. What? Because I wanna do, I'm gonna do a shade darker of green on the wall, and then these are gonna go up, so it'll look like a really big, beautiful piece of artwork. Yeah, wow. As opposed to just two so round just things. Right. Why do you have three tables? So that when you're sitting on the sofa, you can just get up and walk out. That's good, I like <laughs> you that. You don't have to do this. I hate when you're, so I hate a long good. sofa where you have to go when you get up in the I middle and you go, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry, excuse me, excuse me, I'm sorry, excuse me, right? <laughs> So Tom, I really love the Flacati rug, but you kept saying that this was kind of like a traffic area, and I'm concerned that it's not gonna last very long. You're gonna walk around this. You'll see, this is gonna be a little seating group. Okay. Now we have to do is kind of rake it a little bit. Okay, nothing is more 60s than this. Uh-huh. Tom, we've only got 20 minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> do you know a girl named Debbie Downer? Because you're kind of reminding me of her. Okay, now. It's gonna really eat away at our budget. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look. Yay. Oh, gold. A picture for Dad. We know how much she loves gold. gold. Love it. Yay. Yeah. She's so connected to her family, and there's a lot of nostalgia. It's really just a part of her. I'm just about to go in and see what Tom and Erica have done with my place. Not only am I nervous, but I'm even more nervous about my sister liking the place. If she hates it, it's over. <gasps> Coming up, will our cookie makers find their brand new room vintage and trendy? No way! Or just half baked? You like it, right? Cookie entrepreneur Jennifer Salvaggi and her sister Michelle called in Dress My Nest to give their bland living room a taste of something different. You can decorate cookies, but you can't decorate right. this place. No, this is a nightmare for us. We had double the challenge because Jennifer likes vintage Vogue, but her sister's a trendy girl. Opposites completely. Really? Like, we're night and day. Now it's time to show off the finished product. So I'm about to go in and see what Tom and Erica have done with my place. I'm completely nervous. My hands are all sweaty. I have been able to sleep. Oh, she's here. You're nervous? Can't you feel my hands well, are so sweaty? you think you're nervous, when they put this carpet down, it's much pinker than I remembered when we Stop showed it. you the sample. One, <laughs> two, sorry about the rug, three. No way. Oh, you guys. Oh, thank you so much. You I'm like it? Liking, I don't even feel like I'm in the same house. Are you kidding me? You're not. We're in your neighbor's oh, room. Just kidding. Yes. Come on, let's go to yours. Oh, I love the carpet. You just oh. noticed? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Like I feel like I'm walking into my grandmother's house again. Really? Oh, it's such a good feeling. Maybe it's so we were much... channeling Nana. I can't even tell you how like, I miss her so, so much. Oh, oh my God, well now she's here in your new house. <laughs> I know, oh. oh gosh, she's just someone that I hold so dear to me and just like, this is like my inspiration while we're right here and that's kind of what I needed and I'm so excited to show my dad the place now. We have curtains, <laughs> yes. 
And look, I love the Cookie Warhol, and I thought, how much fun would it be to take the logo of your company, and I gave it sort of a Warhol-inspired treatment, so it made it more into pop culture and more of an iconic visual. I love it. That's you rolling in the dough, girl. That's you, right? Yeah. Everywhere you go, you have to walk through this room, and you had white carpeting here, which was like the worst idea ever. <laughs> so I wanted to give you carpeting that was more durable and that was darker, but also that if you get a stain, you, you have extra tiles. You can pull a tile up, pop a tile down. Uh -uh. Yeah, so that makes it so much easier. But also the way the that room is, is laid genius. out, you have a perfect, you walk right through the center of the room and you direct the way people use the space as opposed to just leaving it open and just not using it. This wall is like, almost 20 feet long. Uh -huh. Now, with your seven foot sofa on this wall, it literally looked like a <laughs> chair. So what I did was, I took a sectional sofa and I put it together to make one long sofa. Right. Everywhere I look, I just right. have like this already like heartfelt connection right. to it. Okay, look. Ta-da! Perfect! Does that not look exactly <laughs> like your mirror? You have yep. gold lamps, the gold in the mirror, two gold frames, which are your two favorite photographs. Mm -hmm. And so I highlighted those in the gold and everything else went into the black. And yeah. then, look, you've got yes. more fur than you ever thought you'd <laughs> yes. have. Look, you're just wrapped in <laughs> fur. <new> fur. <laughs> the lining was so important because you have this really fun accessory mm -hmm. on the inside. The same way these, these pieces, mm -hmm. you can make them go away, is the same way these pieces can all disappear. You know, the basic yeah. room is your dress. The fur, the, the detail on the embroidery. I love the way it looks, and it completely looks like your outfit. It works really well for you, for your aesthetic, because it's all vintage inspired, but it also works well for your sister because yes. it's all new, and so I think she'll gravitate towards the idea that these are new pieces, they're fresh, they're clean, they're crisp, they're current, mm -hmm. and she'll feel comfortable in it. I can't yeah, wait for Michelle warm. to see this. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Oh my god. You like it, right? <laughs> yes! I like it! But, oh my god. <laughs> is that your favorite? Is that, that was god. our favorite. That's what you I was really skeptical and really nervous over what they were gonna do to our living room. But after I've seen it, I love it. I'm completely blown away with this place. I love it, I love it, I love it. Tom and Erica did an amazing job. Thank you so much. Thank God they liked the green. I was really nervous. I think that Jennifer's really excited to show her father that she and her sister have turned it into a home. Bye! I think on both sides of the fence, this is probably a pretty big moment. Oh we God. love our cookies! Oh, Thank you for our cookies! We love the place so much! Bye!